Stop being a bitch. Why are weak men such a problem? Nobody cares about that. We don't want to see that. Well, weak people are a problem in general. And, and I don't mean physically weak. I mean cowardly, let's say, and, and deceitful. It's not good for you. It's not good for your family. It's not good for the community. It's certainly not a good medium to long-term strategy because life is very, very difficult and you have to be prepared for that. I've been spending a lot more time outside lately because every time I get on the internet I'm bombarded with these messages of weakness and emotion being some sort of virtue, something we should give into as men and something we should act on, and that somehow this will cure our toxic masculinity. What does that even mean? Ever since the 1980s, men's testosterone levels have been on the decline, with drastically lower levels from generation to generation, declining by about 1% every year. And worse yet, the average sperm count has dropped 40% since the 70s, likely due to environmental factors. What's worse, low levels of testosterone is a leading cause of depression in young men, contributing to the increasingly high male suicide rate. Researchers have been trying to determine this apparent loss in testosterone for years with ideas ranging everywhere from manual labor jobs being less common to men having families later on in life and even lower office temperatures are thought to have some sort of impact on overall testosterone health. But the real question is this, are these changes resulting in weaker men or are weaker men resulting in these changes? Oh, mm. I'm pretty sure I have a fractured rib. I don't actually know that, but I don't want to pay for an x-ray. So, I'm kind of just rolling with it. We often consider testosterone to be the brutish chemical, which is probably what the confused pussies in LA consider toxic masculine. My drill instructor called them confused pussies once. I fucking love that. Which is definitely true. Testosterone makes men physically strong and at times a little too bold but it also makes us proud, confident, and if used correctly, responsible. It's the element of control that's so important, and yet that's been so lacking in recent decades. A strong man raises his son to control his testosterone and use it for good. It's the same force, after all, that saves babies from burning buildings or balconies in the case of this chat over here. But parents these days seem to pretty much ignore the neurochemical element of young male development and so we have young men running around completely under the influence of these chemicals causing chaos and they just don't have any real good male role models to show them how to control that sort of thing. And just to make things worse, the media tends to encourage men to react to things emotionally and in the same way that estrogen drives female emotions, testosterone drives male emotions. But in the case of male emotions, those tend to be more violent. I'm currently taking testosterone supplements for reasons I can't explain. Lately, I've been pretty depressed. Every time I either take the supplements or lift heavy shit at work, I end the day feeling way more confident and proud, whereas on the days when I don't do either of those things... <laughs> Here's the thing. A lack of testosterone leads to overly emotional men, and overly emotional men are completely useless to society. When you start feeling angry, you start feeling the white knuckles, mm. or you start pecking hard at the keyboard, right? <laughs> sure. Right? When you yeah. type an email out and you're hitting the keyboard hard, yeah, it's an indicator. indicator for sure. You better not hit send because whatever you wrote isn't good. It's not going to yeah. solve any problems. You raise the voice, right? You start mm. raising the voice. You start getting angry and aggro with people. Those are the little things. Those are the little indicators that tell you you need to detach, step back, take a breath, look around, walk out of the room, put your weapon in high port, just relax. Look around, and make a call. Don't only use detachment to prevent your emotions from driving your decisions. Also, use detachment as part of your creative process to detach from your current thought pattern and move to a new thought pattern where you can create new ideas and different plans from different angles that were not seen from your previous vantage point. If we can't make good decisions, we only cause problems. It's up to us to control our lifestyles and have enough discipline to make sure that our bodies have the mental and physical um, assets that they need in order to protect those in our care. Ensuring that our bodies have the chemicals that they need and ensuring that those processes and systems are under control is the first major step to becoming a strong man. Someone who can make the right decisions to make sure that 
he's you know uh, improving the lives of everyone around him and being the strength that some people might need. Guess what? Confidence inspires confidence. So confident men inspire confidence in everyone around them. Okay, so my dad and I fucking love these wiggling fake candles. My mom hates them. Comments, what do you think? We gotta, we gotta settle this one. So how do you stop being an offended bitch? Well, I've got a couple of ideas. Listen more, speak less. You'll understand things more clearly and therefore more logically if you just stop and listen. What it comes down to is respond, don't react. Fix your damn posture. Okay, stand in a confident pose for two minutes. You'll see what I mean. It has a massive impact on your mental state. Expand your verbiage and be more articulate. I suck at this personally. It's a constant uphill battle trying to get better at this. But articulacy, articulacy? See, I, I suck at it already. Is the most important weapon you can have in your arsenal. And lastly, LIFT EVERY SHIT MOTHERFUCKER! Too many men these days are offended, self-victimized, incompetent bitches. Be better, be a man, and stop being a bitch. Oh, uh, uh, also, testosterone can increase dick size, so. You know, I'm gonna go work out real quick, actually. I'll see you next time.